Do you guys want to get the best possible sound up mixing your two channel music with your Dolby Atmos or Oro 3D receivers? That's what we're going to be talking about in today's video. <laughs> Hey folks, I'm Gene Delasalo with Audioholics. I wanted to do this video for you guys that are really into getting all your speakers working in your surround sound system, even when you're listening to two channel music. So I spent a lot of time testing Oro, testing the Dolby up mixer and testing the DTS X up mixers. And I've done videos in the past, but I'm actually going to show you with measurements some of the stuff that I'm hearing. And then this is going to help me give you some recommendations to get the very best sound out of these up mixes for your two channel music. So before you dive into this video, I want to make sure that anybody that's watching this, maybe you're new to the channel. First of all, hit the subscribe, hit the thumbs up. I appreciate that. But if you're confused about all the different terminology and what all the different surround formats are, we did this really excellent article back in 2016, I believe, that talks about all the different surround sound formats, all the different up mixers, and the whole history from Dolby Surround all the way to the DTS-X and the Dolby Atmos and Oro 3D stuff. So it's very informative. It gives you guys some information on the nomenclature of each. And I want to tell you a couple of things that I did in this test. I wanted to show you what happens to the main stereo image when you're up mixing with these various surround um, up mixers. So I'm kind of the way I come at this when I'm up mixing two channel music, I have a preference for making sure that I don't screw up whatever I'm doing. I don't screw up the stereo image. I don't like up mixes that alter the stereo sound. I like up mixes that take your stereo, your two speakers, your left and right speakers, and builds a surround field around it. In my opinion, that's the best way to do two channel up mixing. And if you do it just subtly enough, just to give you a little bit of an effect and expand your sound stage a little bit, you'll find that even the most two channel purist out there will still prefer having this on in probably 95% of the cases. And that is when you know you really made a success when you're up mixing two channel music is that you still get that great stereo localization. You get the depth of the sound stage and it doesn't sound gimmicky and it doesn't sound like there's too much sound all around you. It just sounds very immersive. It actually sounds like you're listening to an immersive um, format. So, what I want to do is I want to show you guys the measurements that I've taken in the room. I've turned off all the speakers in the room and I'm only playing the main speakers and I'm showing you what happens with the various up mixers. But I do want to also preface the fact that I miss the simple days. I miss the days before we had immersive surround sound and we had the older generation of surround Kodaks, whether it was Dolby True HD or DTS HD. Those up mixers, those two channel up mixes, the Neo, six and the neo x and the dolby pro logic 2x and the 2z in my opinion up mixing two channel to 7.1 those are the better up mixers than we're looking at today with the 3d up mixers that are adding height without the high channels in that equation if you were just running a 5.1 or 7.1 system those older up mixes in my opinion were better they had less artifacting and they had separate modes they had a music mode and they had a cinema mode and the music mode did just what i'm saying it preserved the stereo image of your left and right speakers and it didn't dump everything into the center channel like we're seeing with some of these up mixers today they had a mode for that called cinema mode so if you were watching like old tv programs or just you know old movies that were in two channel in those cases you wanted to focus more of the dialogue into the center channel you would have used the cinema modes for those they had the dts x I'm sorry, not the DTS-X. I get these names confused myself. The DTS-Neo-X. And that was, they had, a, they had a DTS cinema mode and a DTS music mode. And you go and use the cinema mode. The same thing with the Dolby. They had the Dolby ProLogic 2X music and cinema mode. So again, I encourage you guys to read the article that I'm linking in below in the description. And you guys can understand what, what all those different formats are. But having immersive surround sound, having those high channels is kind of a game changer. And 
I really do like having that added ambient effect. So I do like these up mixes, but you got to know how to set them to get the best sound. So I'm going to share my screen with you guys. And while I'm doing that, please don't forget about subscribing to this channel. Give me some comments down below what your favorite up mixer is and how you're using it. And hopefully you find the settings I'm going to show you useful in helping you govern uh, what you do. So my processor that I'm using is the Storm Audio ISP MK2. Now your mileage will vary depending on what you're using. Um, there's different settings on the various up mixers. So if you're in the Oromatic, you've got um, different room size settings. I'm going to show you what that does as well as the Oro Strength. Or if you're in the Dolby Surround, you have it's it's not going to show that here because I'm not playing a source. But anyway, if you have the Dolby Surround, you have center spread on and center spread off. And actually, I want to tell you something before I get into this measurement stuff. I've done several videos about the center spread feature of the Dolby Surround up mixer, and I think it's absolutely critical to have that feature if you want to up mix two channel music. And because a couple of years ago, when Dolby added the height virtualization feature, they did not license that at the same time with the center spread feature on many products. And if you look at the older Sound United products, they took away the center spread and we raised the sync about it. And, and um, six months later, they brought it back on. So now if you have a Sound United Marantz or Denon receiver, you've got the center spread feature. The problem now is the latest generation of Yamaha receivers like the RXA, 6A, and 8A they don't have center spread. So you're kind of stuck now. I, I can't recommend up mixing two channel music without having that center spread feature. It's more than just the volume controls you'll see in my measurements. So in those cases, since Yamaha just recently announced they have the Oromatic um, upgrade on their firmware, in those cases, I would up mix my music using the Oromatic or using one of Yamaha's DSP modes with the effects turned down. But I've also, if I wanted to show you, if you do have a Sound United product, here's where they have the different settings for Oro, the small, medium, large movie speech, as well as the Oromatic strength. Just wanted to show you guys that. And again, center spread on or off. Unfortunately, the DTS X up mixer doesn't have any configuration options. So you're stuck with just one setting fits all. And it's absolutely terrible, in my opinion, for up mixing two channel music. And I'm gonna show you the measurements now. So let's get back to all this good stuff here. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna show you the measurements in my main listening position. This is in room measurements. This is my left speaker and this is my right speaker and as you can see there's a very good correlation with how they match above the room transition frequency a couple of hundred hertz they look virtually identical and that that takes some doing i mean that's uh that's with active speakers dsp and it's just it's vital to get good symmetry in your room to get good uh imaging and you know very similar sound from both speakers so i want to show you with uh both speakers playing at the same time because most of my tests here are going to be with two speakers playing correlated audio. Now, correlated audio is basically a mono signal. So the up mixers are going to do kind of funky things with, with correlated audio that they don't necessarily do with stereo. But it's still important because when you're listening to a stereo recording, you still get a lot of correlation with the left and right channels. Um, so these up mixers if they're doing stuff, you're going to potentially hear that even in stereo. So here we are looking at just stereo left and right. And when we compare it with the Dolby Surround up mixer with center spread on, you see it's virtually identical. The only difference is the bass levels drop. I'm sorry, the bass levels went up about, I would say about a dB. So 85 to 86.5 yeah it's about a db the bass levels rose and the, the high frequencies looked like they went down maybe a half a db or so so you're looking at a level shift of about a db and a half going from two channel to the dolby surround up mixer turned on with center spread on and that's not bad i mean the bass level going up a little bit is is okay because now you have more speakers playing in the room anyway i do notice a slight level increase in bass but it's not that bad 
My only problem now is if you're using an up mixer and it's boosting the bass too much and you already calibrated your system for two channel, it could potentially sound too bass heavy. So I wanna show you before we get into the Oro, here's what happens when you turn center spread off. Boom. All the common information above a couple of hundred hertz basically it gets sucked out of the main speakers and gets dumped into the center channel. And I could hear this. Anytime I put on two channel music with center spread off, I lose all the stereo imaging from the speakers and it dumps right into the center channel. It just does not sound natural. And what this does is it recombines there and it's just, it's okay for dialogue intense stuff, but not for music. So definitely use the center spread on feature with the DSU. You would thank me for that if you find that setting on your receiver, trust me. So here's what happens with Oro. Oro significantly raises the bass level compared to the Dolby one and compared to two channels. So let me turn off the Dolby one so you can see this better. You're looking at potentially, we're at about 85 dB versus 89 and a half. You're a good four and a half, four to four and a half dB increase in bass with the Oro set to large and the effect at six. Now six is pretty conservative. It's not like a high setting. You know, it goes, I think the range is from one to about 16. So six is right where, in my opinion, sounds natural enough where it's not distracting you from having too much of a surround effect. But the bass level increase is dramatic. And that's a problem for me because I calibrate my system for two channel to have the right bass levels. So if you're using the Oromatic up mixer and if, if you like that extra bass, great, but you're gonna most likely have to have a separate calibration to lower the bass level when you turn the Oromatic on. So I wanna show you what happens with the various different settings. So that's with large six, large one, it drops the bass, you know, from 89 down to 87. It drops at about two dB. So it gets you closer to the two channel. It's still above the two channel setting. But the problem with Oromatic Large One is you don't really hear much surround effect at all. So not something I would recommend. Now here's the interesting thing I wanted to show you. So we have Oro Large Six on this graph. Now I'm gonna show you Oro Medium Six. Boom. It creates a huge suck at a 1.5 kilohertz, at least on my Storm audio processor. I checked with the guys at Storm. They saw this, they couldn't explain it. They said they were gonna contact uh, Oro to see why that's doing that. Whereas the small setting doesn't do that. The small setting gives you full range, just like the large setting when you have a correlated audio source. I don't quite understand what their thinking is or the rationale there, but I can tell you with my listening test, I originally did not like Oro 3D, Oro 2D up mixing of two channel music in my system because I felt like it was putting too much information into the center and to the heights above me. And it just, it was very distracting. But when I switched it from the medium setting to the large setting, things got a lot better. And I really enjoyed the sound a lot more with the large setting than the medium setting. So I'd like to know your comments down below. What setting are you using if you're using Aura? Are you using a large, medium, or small? So there's definitely something really hokey going on there with the medium setting. I have not confirmed if it does this with Marantz SR8015. I haven't tested that. I will go back eventually and do that. But it is interesting that it's doing that. And I don't think it's a problem with the implementation. I think there's something that's definitely going on there that Oro is doing. So I wanted to show you the DTS-X, what happens there. Again, I'm going to show you the left and right mains. When you turn on DTS-X up mixing with a correlated audio source, it completely takes everything above a couple hundred hertz and dumps it to the center channel, just like I was showing you um, with the center spread on. It's actually worse than the center spread on for the Dolby surround up mixer. As you can see here, or center spread off, I'm sorry. The center spread off does it at a little bit of a higher frequency. So here's the problem with the DTS-X is you can't control that. And anytime I turn on DTS-X up mixer for two channel, I just, everything goes to the center channel. It doesn't sound good to me. Again, back in the old days with the older up mixer that they had, they had a music mode and a cinema mode. So I don't understand why they're so primitive now with their up mixing. I can't recommend DTS-X for up mixing two channel music. It just doesn't sound natural to me at all. So I'm gonna show you when you turn on the center channel, 
it's basically combining the front three speakers but most of that output that you're seeing there is from the center channel and because my mic is a little bit off axis uh, with my screen in front of the center channel you're seeing some of that comb filtering from the vinyl screen so i'm just not a fan of this at all but i do want to show you that some of this effect is exaggerated because i'm showing you a correlated audio source from left and right channels if you look at um let me turn off of these graphs if you look at just one channel playing like the left channel you see it's full range for non-correlated audio for dts the oro is full range again and then the dolby is full range again but i did notice with the oro levels the overall level dropped a couple of db from left and right channels uh, as opposed to the D the dolby level that did not drop at all so I'm not quite sure what's going on there other than maybe they're just doing that because they have a height layer that they want to reappropriate some of that energy level to. But the Dolby level is very close, whereas the aura level is a little bit down, a couple of dB. But the bass, of course, is jacked up. So again, it's just interesting. Um, all I can tell you is if you're going to up mix two channel music, my theory or my what i think sounds best is you want to keep the stereo image preserved as best as possible you absolutely can't do that with the current implementation of dts x i hope in the future they update that kodak to give you some settings for it with the dolby surround up mixer you definitely preserve the stereo imaging by using the center spread on feature yamaha currently doesn't have it on their new receivers keep emailing them i'll keep bugging them to get that feature back but in, in out of all three of these up mixers, the Dolby Surround up mixer absolutely preserves the stereo Im imaging. Oro does to some extent, except it just boosts the bass levels up a lot. And you really should use the large setting, in my opinion, with Oro and keep the Oro effect to a minimum, you know, five, six, seven, maybe. But once you start jacking that up, the bass levels go up too. When I checked the Oro at nine, it raised the bass level another couple of dB. So if, I guess if you really like rap music and you just want to slam your house with all channel stereo, Oro is kind of your thing. That's the best one out of the three formats that'll do it. The one good thing about Oro's is no artifact noise coming out of the surround channels like I've heard with the other ones, but it also doesn't extract. It doesn't do as good of a job extracting the layers of the recording like you get with the Dolby surround up mixer or even the DTS X up mixer. Both of those do incredible jobs of extracting and doing layering and making you sound like you're really in an immersive surround sound, which is two channels uh, source. But the DTS X one has more artifact than, than what I heard with the Dolby surround up mixer. And of course, again, the DTS X doesn't preserve the stereo imaging because there's no center spread feature. Please bring center spread to DTS X. I want to be able to use all of these up mixers. So guys, I hope you found this video useful. Please give me some comments down below. What up mixer are you using for two channel music? Are you experiencing audio nirvana and are you an audio purist that still likes to up mix if you control the parameters well, or do you just always listen to two channel music in its native format and never mess with the up mixer? Again, this video pertains primarily to mixing up mixing two channel music with these up mixes. I'm not talking about mixing multi-channel music. That's a whole different ball of, of wax. And we can approach that in a different video topic. So I hope you found this video useful. Don't forget about our Patreon channel at patreon.com slash audioholics. We appreciate your support. You get direct access to me if you want to ask questions or suggest video topics. And until next time, my friends, keep listening.